This video here, we're going to be looking at frequency and tally tables. So something that we've probably done before that you've experienced at least before. We just want to make sure we clarify a couple of things as we go through. So the key learnings here is that you understand A, what a tally is. Okay, and a tally is a tool used for counting as results are gathered. So numbers are written, so it's vertical lines. So we used to, you're probably uh, aware of the familiar uh, convention like so. So we sort of tally as we go. And when you get to a five, you draw a line through it. So it's easy to represent as we're looking through a lot of data. You can see you're sort of counting ups and five. Now, the difference between that and a frequency table shows how common a certain value is in a frequency column. So tallying. So in this case, so if we saw that as one example, the frequency of that is actually five. So it's effectively just writing the value of how many tallies there are in a certain section. So the items can be individual values or intervals of values. Now examples where we might use this, I used to, my background is through volleyball and I used to keep statistics like that. So we do a, a like passing, so the, the skill of passing in volleyball, and we tally those, the quality of our passes throughout a game. So it might be a bad pass, which we tally as one, a medium pass, we tally as two, and a good pass, we tally as three. So we'd sort of keep, if I just did an example here, throughout the game, that would be uh, keeping statistics on. You'd see a pass, and you might tally that one. Okay, that one was a three. Oh, yeah, there's another three. That one was a two. Uh, yep, another two. So some good passes. So as you're doing it, you're sort of keeping tally. And then at the end, you sort of just write down the frequency, which again, as I said, is the total number of uh, parts within that section. So what we're going to do now is quickly just an example. So I want you to put the following data into a frequency table. So we have a data set here, and we'll just say that this is uh, sort of rolling a die and these are the results that come up. So we want to put this into a frequency table and this is going to include both a frequency and a tally and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so I've got my frequency table here and as you can see I've got my numbers up the top based on the uh, six parts of the die and now I'm going to just going to simply tally them up. So I'll go through and I'll count how many ones. So I've got a one, a one, a one, a one, a one. Now knowing that I got to five, I'm going to draw the line straight across and one, so I have frequency of six. Two, I have one, two. Okay, so I've got two, and I can write my frequency in. Three, just the one, obviously there. Four, one, two, three. So I can do one, two, three, five, and six. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're tallying as you go through and then you're writing the frequency table. So this is great for things like determining the range of certain values or you want to look at the sort of the median and understanding how many of something are. It's great for those types of statistics that you want to put in. But uh, as we go through, we'll sort of explore and how we can then adapt these frequency tables as we move forward. Thanks, guys.